What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of BMW G310R Adventures. Uh, I took the day uh, a few days ago to leave the city and try to find some quote unquote what I consider country roads, aka New Jersey, for us city people getting out of Manhattan is like going to a different country. So, Jersey to me is foreign territory. And um, I really wanted to find some curvy roads that I could practice leaning the bike over, I could practice looking through a turn, um, things that you can't really do in the city. Uh, my riding is pretty much restricted to main streets and avenues and a couple back roads out in uh, Queens. Um, so this was a really nice escape um, and just a chance to kind of breathe some fresh air, see uh, you know, some beautiful sights as you can see, you know, it's a great day. Um, I was yeah, up and around Bear Mountain. I took the Palisades straight up uh, and really got to open up the bike without fear of any traffic. My last ride out of town was, uh, I went up to Long Island and there was, you know, there's many more cars there than there were. Uh, maybe that's because of the time of day or the day of the week, uh, not sure, but wonderful ride up. And um, yeah, I got to really kind of just cruise around and, and feel the bike out up in the fifth and sixth gear. Um, this uh, video, I'll try to talk over the whole thing, but uh, I guess it's not of much interest without any dialogue if you're not into this bike in particular. Um, again, the G310R is 300 cc bike, uh, I think like 330 pounds, um, six speed manual transmission. Um, I took it as a quote unquote beginner bike um, so I could get comfortable with all the controls. And uh, you know, for that, it's been perfect. Um, I've pretty much become comfortable with upshifting, downshifting, rev matching, turning. Uh, and don't feel uh, that I am ever at risk of losing control of the bike. Whereas if you get a 600cc or 1000cc, you know, you can always learn on those bikes, but it requires much more throttle control and attention to detail. Um, so it's been a great, you know, I've had it for a month and a half. Well, no, I've had it for almost two months now, um, and it's been a great two months. Um, however, now that I'm, I'm taking more trips, I'm getting out of the city, uh, I am really seeing where the limitations kick in. Um, and depending on your riding style and what you want from the bike, they're not really limitations. They're just, um, you know, kind of boundaries, the boundaries of your particular bike. And for this one, uh, you know, I, I could keep up on highways. And as you'll see in the, the next little bit of footage, you know, for all around here and, and around towns and, you know, places with more, more traffic, it's more than enough bike. Um, you know, when I ride to work, I'm constantly doing 30 to 40 miles an hour cruising just comfortable um, and there's no problems you know but once I get up here in Jersey and you're on the the main you know you're on parkways freeways and highways um, you really do feel uh, capped at a certain point you know I, I can squeeze out 95 miles an hour which I think is the most I can pull out of this bike I'm uh, 5'7 and 135 ish uh, pounds and uh, I hit about 95 miles an hour. I think they only listed at 92 or something, so I guess I got more than uh, what the specs say. Um, and 95 is more than enough. Um, acceleration is quick. You know, it's definitely not a track bike. It's not one of those leader bikes that will fucking get you to 150 miles an hour in five seconds, but you don't really need that, and I don't really want that. Um, but what I would like is to be able to cruise at 80 to 90 miles an hour comfortably and when I say that I mean not having to wring every single gear out until like 9,000 10,000 rpms uh, to have to squeeze that speed and acceleration out of it um, you know, and again for the time being it's fine because I don't I don't commute daily 30 miles each way you know I commute a couple miles so this bike is more than enough again but uh, like on a road like this I can definitely keep up uh, but it's effort and it's work to stay at that speed. Um, but once you're off the highway and even up here, when I got into the smaller roads, uh, this right here is not the parkway. It's, uh, it's like somewhere I turned off and it's more than comfortable and it's fun and it's zippy. Um, great ride. And if you're just learning again, even if you're in your first year, and I would assume even once you're an intermediate rider, it's just fun because you get to click through all the gears and you they're using all of the bike. Um, I've heard this a lot. I've heard a lot of people say it's more fun to ride a slow bike fast than a fast bike slow. Now, I don't have the luxury of knowing what it's like to ride a fast bike slow, but uh, I could imagine in 
average areas, aka not the highway, not the freeway, um, riding in first gear for, you know, seven miles isn't the most fun. Um, it is nice to know that you have all that power, you know, in your back pocket should you need it. Um, and that's really actually the other thing that, that comes to mind is like, I don't, I don't mind not having all that power. However, in those situations, and I have been in a few of them, where you need to get out of somewhere quick, um, I just simply don't have it when I'm already, already cruising at like 60 to 70 miles an hour. I don't have much more to throw on there to get out of a potentially bad situation. Um, but all that being said, this today's ride was great. Um, yeah, just, I mean, it was so great to get out of the city and not be surrounded by pedestrians, cars, and bikers. Um, there were a significant amount of motorcyclists up here, um, all different types. Uh, I found a lot of Harleys. Um, and, you know, I, I will take a moment to say this. Uh, everyone talks shit about Harley riders, but out of everyone that I met on this, this day, uh, the Harley riders were the most friendly. And that's friendly to me on this little 300cc bike. They were, you know, waving me down, saying, what's up, how's your day? Uh, everybody else on sport bikes and nakeds that I was seeing uh, were kind of in their own world and seemed hyper competitive. Could have been because uh, everyone seemed like a new rider. And I, it's weird, new riders seem a little self-conscious and they don't want to say hi and they're not sure what they should do. Um, by the way, I am a new rider. I'm just more outgoing and more childlike when I see somebody else with a motorcycle. I'm more likely to say, hey, what's up, how you doing? Um, but yeah, I saw some people with 300s too. Someone had a Duke 390, someone had the, the Yamaha R3, and then I think their buddy had a Ducati, uh, uh, I forget what they're called, the, like that hybrid bike, the hooligan bike, I can't remember what it's called, but, uh, and I, you know, I waved in their direction, they were all kind of, you know, trying to look big and impervious, I, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, but yeah, you see a lot of bikes out here for a reason. It's a beautiful ride. It's not crazy twisty, but you do find some kind of intermediate or even beginner roads that you can just uh, cruise around. Um, another thing I realized too is uh, when you come out here, I feel like this is where a lot of people get into accidents because you're trying to do all this stuff. You're trying to practice leaning and you know uh, figuring out what speed you should enter a turn and then you know how to hit the apex correctly. All this all this stuff that you want to try at home but you can't and you overestimate because you forget about the practical elements about riding which is road condition and your surroundings um, again like I said I couldn't I realized I couldn't just take the curves the way I wanted to because there are other cars on the road and I also didn't know it was around the corner you know it's not a racetrack so uh, a lot of cracks in some parts of the road too and if I leaned over anymore I figured I probably would have lost the bike right under me um, a lot of practical things that you have to take into account um, when going out to practice these things so I didn't fully get what I set out to get um, which is really leaning over but there was a roundabout in the early part of the, the video where I got to kind of feel that spot I went around twice actually just for no reason just to kind of figure out you know where that that point was where I felt like kind of comfortable but I could do a little more um, and then again on the highway I really opened it up and I I've just figured out the uh, the difference between the torque range in the beginning and then the power range at the end, which I thought was very interesting and made actual sense when you start learning about motors. Uh, that you know you really feel the torque in the beginning parts in the RPMs, uh, but if you keep going, you'll hit that power range and you'll get a lot more out of your bike. So yeah, this was my ride today. Uh, so glad to get out of the city, and uh, I plan to do more often. And uh, you know. I'll keep shooting footage and posting it for anybody who has questions about the uh, BMW G310R, please let me know. I'm not an expert, but I, I have ridden it for two months and I have a lot of opinions, so uh, feel free to reach out, but that's all I got.